Peace, peace. Welcome to the Boss Talk Podcast with Terry the Electrician. This is the premiere episode of the Boss Talk with Terry. Real business with real people. Now, the premise of this podcast is I will be basically bringing you some pretty great content. All right. So the things I got in store for you is going to cover four levels. You know, I always like to tell my guys on the on the you know on the job that there's levels to this. And I've discovered really that there really are levels to this. You know, we say it kind of as a joke, but there really are levels to this. And there are four levels that I've discovered recently that kind of captures the essence of what I've done over the past 20 years uh, of running my own businesses, 20 plus years of running my own businesses. And that is what I am really going to bring to you on this podcast. Now, it's not just going to be me. I'm going to have some great guests, other six and seven figure business owners who are killing the game in their own perspective categories, right? And I'm going to bring them on to give you the game from their point of view, from their perspective, from what they're actually doing in their businesses and, and how they're just blowing it up. You know what I mean? We rolling into 2022. This episode is going to be dated because, you know, it's the premiere episode. So I'm out mind dating this episode. We're, we're right here at the end of 2021. You know what I mean? Um, getting ready to roll into 2022. And, uh, this is the beginning of a new era. This is truly the beginning of a new era. Uh, not only for me on a business level, but on a personal level. And, I, you know, I may go into some of that, you know what I mean? Uh, just to keep it all the way a buck with you. But, you know, this is primarily going to be me talking about business. Like I said, the premise of this is real business uh, by real people. Okay. And, and and giving you the games, which means we're going to be talking real shit. And yeah, every now and then you're going to hear some of them four-letter words. Don't don't let that twist your wig, though. Don't, don't miss your message because, you know, you might hear a little bit of this and that. You know, I'm not going to be on here cussing like a sailor because I was actually in the Air Force. But don't, yeah, I know, that was corny. But you get my drift. But I'm going to keep it all the way 100 with you, which means I'm going to be me. I'm going to talk like I talk. I'm going to talk with you on this podcast like I talk with people in everyday real life. That's the only way I know to be. And the only way I know to be is to truly be me. You feel me? So if you if you, if you cool with that, we can keep it rocking. If that bothers you, this might not be the podcast you want to listen to. All right? To keep it all the way 100. This might not be the podcast you want to listen to because from time to time, one of them four letter words going to slip on out. Just, just, just letting you know up front. Okay. Now, the premise of this podcast and where I'm going to be coming from with this thing is on the four levels. I'm going to be sharing with you tactics, which is what to do or, you know, what little, what little things I've done in order to to get to where you know where I'm at in business, same thing I'll have I'm gonna, I'm gonna have my guests do. We're gonna share tactics, okay? We also gonna share strategies, and that's the why and when to do, the why and when, okay? Most people will stop there, okay? Most people will stop there. They'll give you strategies and tactics. A lot of times they'll give you the tactics. And they'll charge you for the strategies, right? The strategies will be behind the paywall. I'm going to give you the strategies, the tactics, but we're going to go a little bit, we're going to go deeper with this thing. Because like I told you, there's levels to this. We're going to also give you principles. And that's how it works. Okay? Business is a very, very delicate thing. You know, there's both an art and a science to business, all right? It's multifaceted. And if you don't get it right, it could be devastating. But if you crack the code and you get it right, oh, it could be the most beautiful thing ever. 
okay? Ask me how I know, <laughs> okay? Ask me how I know. So we got your tactics, we got your strategies, and we got your principles, but we even going to go deeper because there's another level. I keep saying, like I said, there's levels to this. There's another level. You've probably already heard of tactics and strategies and principles, but I would venture to say very few people have dug deep enough to get into this fourth level, which is essence. And essence is why it works. Now, I'm not going to dig into that on this episode because I want to keep this episode brief by design. Like I said, this is just an introduction to what's to come. So I'm not going to hold you, all right? I'm not even going to hold you on this episode. But I just kind of wanted to put that in your wig so you can, so it can buzz around a little bit so you can start thinking on what does he mean by all this? There's some of y'all out here listening to this. Y'all know exactly what this means. <clears throat> but for those who are not quite familiar with all this, oh, you are in for a super treat. You in for a super treat. And even if you are familiar with all four levels, you still going to be in for a treat because I guarantee you ain't heard it like this. I guarantee you ain't, you ain't heard it from this perspective because this perspective is my perspective and I'm the only one with it. <laughs> I'm the only one with this perspective because it's my perspective. And it's been formulated over the years through all the different experiences, all the different training, all the coaching, mentoring, all those different things put into this into this pot, stirred up together, and now I got this, this formula, okay, that has, has been created through all of this as my operating system which is what I would call my success operating system, okay? I have a success operating system today. For many, many years, that wasn't the case, right? There was a, 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 a default system, which I would call a, a failure operating system. And it was deep down in the subconscious. I had to do some deep work on this to kind of break through that barrier. And you know, I'm still working on that. Let me just keep it all the way uh, 100 with you. I'm still a work in progress. I ain't got it all figured out. And I ain't gonna come in here on here in front like I do because that would not serve you and it definitely would not serve me, okay? And I plan to serve you like I serve my customers or my clients, you know what I mean? I'm going to elevate them a little bit. They going we going we going we going we going to elevate past just calling them customers cuz I always my motto in my electrical business is your experience with us is going to leave you feeling more like a family member than a customer anyway. Okay? So we've already gone a, a, just a, a step above just calling them uh, or treating them like uh, just a customer. So we're going to call them clients. All right, we're going to call them clients. Now, from time to time, I might slip back and say customer because, you know, I'm used to saying customer. But you get what I'm saying. You follow me on this, I hope. We're going to call them, we're we going to start using a little bit different lingo and language, right? Start reprogramming that subconscious mind to look at this from a different perspective, okay? Uh, because here's the thing. There's a method to the madness, right? I seek to truly create a business built, designed, and centered around my lifestyle or the lifestyle that I desire, okay? Not the other way around. Most people, most business owners, especially those of us who are in the trade businesses. Now, we build 
our lifestyle around our businesses. Why? Because for the most part, we don't know any better. And that's just keeping it real. For many of the 22 plus years that I have been in business, I simply did not know any better. And I'm not ashamed to admit that. It's the truth. The truth will stand on itself. The truth will always stand on itself. Okay? You can never go wrong as long as you're standing on the truth. Okay? And today I stand squarely on the truth. Which means I had to look at myself in the mirror, right straight in the eye, and get 100% gut level honest with myself at one point and say, bruh, this business thing you got going on, it ain't looking too good. About three, four years ago, I said, right, yeah, about, yeah, about three years ago, 2018, something like that, I had to have a come to Jesus meeting with myself. I had to look at myself in the mirror straight in the eye and say, this ain't it. And I set on a path to completely redesign my whole process. It's what I can look back now and call the relentless pursuit of success. Because I never gave up through the, through the, the the crash of 2008 when I basically lost everything and, and, and was damn near homeless, was basically homeless. I will say it. Was we was, me and my wife was in a extended stay motel. So now I'm telling you a little bit of my business right now. I'm getting gut level with you right now because that's how I plan to bring it on this podcast. I plan to bring it all the way real, all the way raw, all the way 100, and that's the way we're going to roll with it. And so... We was in an extended stay motel, which is basically homeless. <laughs> okay, just, you know, that's just the truth. Lost pretty much everything. Um, Lost my van, my, my work van, lost my home. <clears throat> Two homes, back to back, foreclosure. Back to back during that period of time. Right, everything. My whole business was centered around the fix and flip market. My whole business at the time was centered around renovating these old these old houses that these investors was, was was flipping. And when that crashed, so did my business. But we survived. We survived, which means there's a new day and there's a new chance to get it back going. So, you know, we made it through that, you know, um, We'll fast forward to 2020. We all know what happened in 2020. <clears throat> Excuse me. We all know what happened in 2020. That's when C-19 basically took over the world. And the U.S. went under lockdown. And I'm going to tell you. I can't say that at any point during 2020, with all that happening, that I was truly afraid. Because, I see, by this time, I done been through so much. I mean, I done been through it. You know what I mean? I done been through it by this time. So, I'm looking at this like, okay, we just got to roll with it. So, yeah, roll with it, we did. And I made some significant changes. Changed, switched up my whole business model. Right? And guess what? 2020, in the midst of a pandemic, nationwide lockdowns, I had the best year ever in business. I learned something extremely valuable from that experience. I plan to share some of that with you on this podcast. If you stay tuned, you get some of that. You see what I'm saying? So now my mission is uh, to make sure that my business serves me at the highest level. Did you hear what I said? To make sure that my business serves me at the highest level. 
guess what that'll do? That will give me the energy, the motivation, and the resources to serve my clients at the highest level. That's a complete paradigm shift for me. Okay. Between 2008, 2018, and right now. Complete shift of perspective and paradigm. That's the premise I'm coming from. So we're talking about four levels. When I say it's levels to this, I ain't, I ain't BSing. We talk, these are levels we're going to be talking about, we're going to be digging into with when, when I'm on here mono a mono or when I got a guest on here because I plan to dig in them pockets when I got my guest on here so they can give you that game, right? Or what makes them tick? What makes their businesses so successful? What made their businesses thrive? My first guest I'm bringing on also had their best year ever in 2020. Seven figure business. So, my next episode, I'm going to come to you again, mono and mono. We're going to break down some concepts for you. And then, like I said, I'll have my first guest on the following episode. Now, I plan on dropping these weekly. All right, for now, I plan on dropping one a week, right? Because as you may or may not know, there's a lot of work that goes into producing a podcast. And this is brand new for me. Okay. Brand new. But I'm game. I'm game. Like I said, this is the beginning of a new era. Okay. I'm game. Right. There's so many things happening right now with me uh, in my business. Um, you know, I, I'm, I've entered a partnership with some... Uh, Di two dynamic individuals, uh, and, and 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 they you will hear from them because at at some point I'm going to bring both of them on this podcast, right? So I'm gonna let that ling I'm gonna let that hang in the air until I bring them on. I'm gonna let that hang in the air until I bring them on. But trust and believe when I do, oh, you are in for a treat. You gonna be pleasantly pleased uh, when I do that. So, you know, so just chuck it up to say, you know, it's all good. You're going you go, you to appreciate that. All right. So now I, this, this thing got a little long. I don't want to go much longer. I, you know, I want to keep these, you know, especially when I'm just, when it's just me, I'm going to keep these like, you know, 20 minutes or less. I, I don't really don't plan on going 20 minutes unless I really got something to talk about. And the only reason I'm going this long right now is because, like I said, this is the introductory episode. I want to kind of give you a feel of the flavor of what's going to be, you know, what, what you're going to be getting. So you'll know if you want to continue to listen to this or not, right from the jump. So by now, you already know whether or not you want to continue to listen to this podcast. Okay. Once you hear the next episode, right, you, you really get a feel for who I am and where I'm coming from. By the third episode, though, guess what? Either you're going to love me or you're going to hate me. By the third episode, either you locked and loaded, ready to go, you know, or you going to say, you know, driver, let me off at this stop. I'm good. And either way, either way, it's all good. It's all good because I'm going to love you like a play cousin anyway, and we'll still remain friends in the end. You know what I mean? And we'll surely meet. On the road to happy destiny. And with that, I know I'll probably sound a little corny right now, but it's okay. You know, because I can switch it up. Every now and then I might say something goofy. Bet on it. Every now and then I'm going to say something goofy. Because that's just who I am. But for the most part, I'm going to bring that heat. Trust and believe. I'm going to bring that heat. That is, the, that is, my intention is to bring that heat. And what I mean by bringing that heat, bringing you some tactics, strategies, principles, and essence of building real businesses 
by real people. And that's real talk. Till the next episode, we're going to say deuces. I holla.